definitely a house. Oh goodness. Ugh. That front tire is buried in that thing. Oh, man. Hey, wow. <laughs> Part. <laughs> it was a think... really nice river back there, but we'll wait and turn the camera on until we're up here <laughs> to the weeds. Oh, I think it's going to get good up here, too. Nah. Guys, we, uh, somebody got their house stuck. So we're going to see if we can, uh, see if we can go get it unstuck. But the problem is, it's a one lane road, and I'm going to hope that there's a place for me to turn around because if not, I'm going to have to back this rig up about three miles. I'm, I'm gonna show YouTube the, uh, here's the GPS. Nice little switchbacks we got going on there. On this one lane road. At least it's paved. Yeah, at least it's paved. Come back up three miles on pavement. I don't know, I hope it's not too bad. Is that it? Oh, that's definitely it. On the switchback. Of course it's on the switchback. And it's definitely a house. And you'll definitely have to back down this and then turn around and back up it. Oh my goodness. Which way is it? Okay. Oh goodness. Hey, there's a big tree in front of me. Six thousand pounds, and of that, and I've got my weights on the overhead visor. Bought that from an eighty-two-year-old man that did it all by himself. Really? And he was a genius. Never wrecked it, and then some dumb <laughs> come along and bought it. And here it sits. I just oh. go back from Cherokee. Oh um, my goodness! And I usually always make this turn. And I've been out of town. I had no idea it's been raining. If I'd have stopped, took the time to notice how green everything is. Yeah, I dropped off right there and I was like, well, you know what? This is really soft and I'm spinning. I'm gonna back up. So I cut my wheels this way to bring my tail end over to get back out on the road. And it, and it, daubed, it daubed up right there. I had my Tundra in the front, put a chain on it, low four wheel drive. It's heavy. That sucker. That sucker's heavy. That's a, that's a battleship for sure. Mm. Good, th good news is I emptied all my tanks though before I left the camper. It yeah. is good. Um, you think if I let some air out of those tires on the other side, it would help at all, or probably just make it worse. Think, yeah. Because it's a back end that's buried, right? Yeah, I'd say if it wasn't for the back end, you'd probably be okay. That's what I was thinking. Um, if I could get forward progress, if that rear end like was somehow positive, in both sides turned, yeah, that'd it's be just great. spinning in that mud right there. And yeah. Golly. I told my wife, I was like, just take the Tundra home and bring my buggy and maybe, just maybe. I would say probably going to be turning hard left and then try to back it up. I try to lift it and back it up. So if I can I get back here, breaks. if I can get up here and get you lifted, you turn hard left, I think I can get you crawled up out of it enough. To where I'm just back on the road and, and you come back on the road and then we can get you wiggled back over here to go again maybe. I don't I think I'll ever pull you forward. If I pull you forward, we'll be bouncing and bobbing. It'll be bad. You're yeah. probably right because I was gonna say it may even it's soft enough, may even just get it enough weight to topple over. Yeah. I was like, my uncle says, well, it's, there's really no weight at the top of it. I was like, yeah, but man, I, I've never felt this thing lean. Well, you look at that front suspension. It, oh yeah, my front tire over there, it's like I'm flexed. Yeah. And box trucks don't flex. No, uh uh. <laughs> Yeah, that thing is buried right and, there. And you didn't back into that, you drove into it, well, right? Well, he backed up. He I got backed yeah. up just a little, because you can see where mm -hmm. I scraped to begin with up there yeah. as I was going, and I was like, oh, I'm sinking. So yeah. I immediately hit my clutch, just started rolling back the other way. Yeah. And then it just daubed up, and I was like, yeah, I even put it in reverse and spun backwards. Spun <laughs> backwards, yeah. That's what it is, just bottomed out there. I think if we can get that back end up in the air enough. Would it be hard on you to back from that gravel driveway down there? Nah, we'll back up here. Oh, here comes one of my favorite uncles. <laughs> yeah, we'll back up. He's gonna be mad, isn't he? Yeah, 
Oh, well, I don't know. He might be able to go around the outside. Oh, the CRV went this way and cut the inside of the curve. And then there was a guy in a Jeep went around the other side. Really? There's, There's people been CRV getting around went around that? Oh, my goodness. Went to the inside all wheel wow. drive. Holy cow. That's pretty impressive. That's what I said. <laughs> I was like, that's the best news I've seen. On this RV, actually. Like, wow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. But she goes, I think I can make it. And I said, I said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I guess we'll see if I can. Let me get him the rundown if you don't mind. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. He's probably going to chew my. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, there you have it, guys. It's. Uh, Looks like nothing on the camera. We do have a new feature on the new we tow truck. We do have though. a feature. We have a oh. tilt gauge. Built in. Built in. And gauges of pitch and roll. It looks like nine degrees and one degree off kilter here, right there. So he's he's steeper up there. I bet he's more like twelve up there. Maybe fifteen. And he's got some roll going on there too. He's got a lot of roll. Ugh. That front tire is buried in that thing, and I'm going to guess it's got quite a bit of travel on the. We're going to see. We're going to see. I'm, I mean, I've got a tree up there. I guess I could try to pull it forward, but I, that would be a really tough pull forward when I can just lift him and get the back end unstuck and hopefully. I don't even think he'll need boards under those back tires to get back to the road. Yeah, I think it'll. I think he it just doesn't. Believe it or not, he laughed at me. Oh, he oh. laughed at me. <laughs> well. That's, at least he's got a sense of humor today. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Yeah, we'll yeah. see if we can get it lifted up here. Oh, it's going to be some backing. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, it's not just tourists. It is locals, too, that and get And he said he's made this venture many times because he keeps yeah. it at his house. So, he's... You're going to get yelled at for that backup beeper. That's the other bad thing about a new tow truck, guys, is it has the features that I disabled on the other one, and uh, Haven't got there yet. it's very annoying on camera. It's nice to have a backup beeper, though. I mean, really, parking lots and stuff, you know? Yeah, it keeps me from running over people. Well, at least warns them before you run over them anyway. Mm -hmm. And I heard a, a ding on your dash. What was it? It said I'm going too fast in reverse. Oh. <laughs> it hasn't met you. That was slow. <laughs> exactly what I thought. <laughs> Too fast in reverse. Good. Get used to a truck. Hey, he didn't sit and spin like I did, though. It's quite a bit deeper than what it looks like from back here. We're, we're actually uh, fans of y'all. Oh, are here. you? Well, thank yeah. you so much. That's well, I hope I you like, don't mind if I record. No, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Maybe, uh, maybe blur my face out. <laughs> I don't think I got your face on there. <laughs> but everybody in Sevier County, like, we know that. <laughs> you know. just all kinds of these rolling around. You know? <laughs> like, what did he do? Everything wrong. It happens. And like, as soon as it dropped, I was like, that clutch uh, needs to just roll back. And, yeah. Uh, oh. Well, I mean, it is dug in. My goodness. That is. You don't perfect. see that.
that message. I bet it sounded awful. It actually didn't make a sound. Really? Like, I'm thinking this asphalt is so thin mm -hmm. from just over the years. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they paved it once, and I think that was 25 years ago. Oh my gosh, it's held up then, very well for 25 years. And then they did one more little thin oh, sheet okay. and like patching and stuff. Yeah. And since then it ain't been touched. <laughs> Yeah, you come back. Yeah, keep coming. You can keep coming back if you want. 
Yeah, yeah you keep coming if you want. He said he can go forward. He thinks he can go forward, Jen. Okay. If you think you can make that. If you think you can make it, you can I would use, you're going to have to use every bit of that road over there to swing. Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> he go, he done left you. <laughs> no, she's got the side by side. Turns out he's the sucker. You got the side by side. <laughs> you like? There's no way that thing's pulling. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of black top. That is a lot of black top. But ah, wow. uh, we can, yeah, they could patch it with one of those bags or something like that. Yeah, I hope he's not stuck. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, guys. Did you show this? Yeah, that's a. Uh... Oh look. Oh, that is just mud. From his tires, From his yeah. Tires. Whew, but yeah, just it was just dug in really deep. Of course, we've seen that before with uh, with the big coach bus up there on Ski Mountain. Yes. It was dug in about that deep yeah. too. But super cool. Hey, at least they they've got some cool means of travel. I bet you they need that in the winter time. They I bet they do. Anywhere. They want to get out and have food and groceries yeah. and... Probably power. Power, yeah. That's what it's going to take to make that happen. But anyway, guys, we are super impressed with uh, the limousine. <laughs> I'm going to call it that until somebody comes up with a different name. Uh, stiff legs are amazing. Love that, it. That's pulling power for sure. And uh, yeah. We, we made it happen, so we're going to see if we can get out of the road here and let that, I don't think. No. That's the uncle. He, can, he needs okay. to go up. He's going to head. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got the roadblock for just a second. We're going to wrap up payment and uh, get on to the next job. So thank you guys for hanging around. All right. Maybe a little view back down the mountain. I believe we found Coven while we were out having fun. We're out having fun. Coven's working. Better sneak up on him and see what he's doing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.